as we have seen how we can add the other storage devices now we will see how we can add OneDrive or Google Drive or Dropbox or S3 bucket to our Proxmox virtual environment. So I'll show you first of all how we can set up the R clone. R clone is open source free sync tool or sync app that will help you to synchronize the files. These are the supported providers Alibaba Cloud, Amazon Drive or Amazon S3 bucket and Ceph Storage or Citrix share file or you can link FTP also using R clone, Google Cloud Storage or even Google Drive also. S SMB or Samba server or SFTP, OneDrive, Microsoft Azure file storage. So there are some virtual providers also which are also supported. So all of this is supported, which means that if I install R clone on any Linux server, Windows, any Mac OS, we can synchronize the files. You can of course download for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Debian or RPM, FreeBSD. These are all the options which are available to you. Otherwise, you will be using any Linux, Macs or BSD system by running this particular command. And for beta installation, you will be using this. We'll open Proxmox server. I'll be opening this here. All right, let me change the screen size. Our clone is already available in the repository. So if I go here, app get install our clone. And you can see here that it has started reading the package and now it has started installing. Our clone, now you can see here that commands are available here. And inside the root directory, so if I go here to cd and here you can see cd mnt and inside mount there is nothing mounted right now. So we will be mounting our Google Drive here. This is my Google Drive here. I can take the backup of my virtual machine into this. So how I'll do that all the commands are available of course here for command and here you can see overview R clone config edit and these are all related to R clone config. So we need to first of all start creating the R clone config. So it will show an interactive configuration session. So we'll be going here to this particular PVE and here in shell and here I'll be typing R clone space config. You can see here no remote configuration. So I'll be adding my first configuration N. I'll give it any name for example it will be sync bricks this is the complete list of 46 type of storage that can be configured one fissure is there the amazon s3 bucket is there dropbox is there microsoft onedrive is there local disk is there and here you can see it is google drive which is number 18 so i'll be typing in number 18 to configure my google drive i'll be typing in number 18 here it is asking for the client id there are various options to authenticate our clone with the google drive but i'll be using simplest way so i'll I'll just press enter here i will not use this particular method i will not enter the client secret key and i will not even choose whether i want to give full access read only access and all of that so while we will be connecting to google drive we will do it at that stage enter it here and now also i will not use any service account file here i have explained in a different video how the service account file can be created so i'll be leaving it blank edit advanced configuration will not go with the advanced configuration enter here now you can see here it is asking for the auto config that is what we have to do but if i type in auto config yes it is asking me to open this particular url if i try to open this url in my browser suppose if i copy this and try to open this URL in my browser, it won't recognize because 127.0.0.1 is not the local machine. How I can resolve this? So let me show you how we can do that. If I go here to putty, I will be opening Proxmox over here. I will go here to SSH. I'll click on tunnel. And here in tunnel, I'll be specifying the IP address here, which is 127.0.0.1. What is the Port number, port number is 5368. We can see it here also 5368. I'll be copying this, paste this here and source port will also be here. So source port is also this, destination port is also this. We'll add this. So this way you can create the tunnel. I'll be able to open this URL here. Let me first of all authenticate this root and here I'm now logged in. Now I'll be able to access this if I just open this here. You will see here that it has started recognizing and it has redirected and I can just click here to authorize R clone. R clone wants to access your file. Do you want to give the access? So I'll be giving get code. You can see here it has got the code now and now I'll be typing in yes it is okay and now 
you can see here my sync bricks is already connected and i'll quit this now i will check the configuration now our clone and here i want to list the files and where are the files these are in the sync bricks column nothing is there i'll create a new folder here i'll give it a name proxmox tutorial run the command over here our clone lst sync bricks which is my google drive so this is folder which has been added and can see here proxmox tutorial inside the google drive and the same i can access it here i can now mount this google drive and if i go back to the space mnt right now there is nothing mounted so i'll be creating a folder called mkdir g drive this is the folder where i'll be mounting the g drive here you see here cd g drive this folder has been created so now i'll be mounting my google drive to this particular folder so how we'll do that will be using our clone command so our clone and our clone mount now to mount this of course i'll be mentioning my drive here which i created sync bricks colon and then i'll be choosing the mount path here which is mount g drive we will mention it allow dash other and here cache dash db dash purge and then fast dash list and then I'll be also using poll interval 10 minutes. I'll be mounting sync bricks to the mount drive. Remove fast list. And we will run this again here. Enter. It has mounted the drive here. And if I go to MNT, CD space MNT, and here is G drive. And you can see here that Proxmox tutorial is now here. I'll be creating a new file here. For example, this is my Google Drive and this is a tutorial for G Drive. And we'll just close this file here and I'll go back here to Putty. And if I see the list, you can see here that Proxmox tutorial and Proxmox tutorial for G Drive dot DOCX. Problem here is that the mount will disable the moment server is restarted. How we can resolve that problem, I will just show you. So we will do this with the help of service. I will just go here, etc slash system d slash system. And here, so I'll be creating a new file here, nano g drive dot service. And here I'll be creating the service so what will be that service unit that it describes here that r clone for the g drive for sync bricks and assert path directory is mount g drive and when it will be starting it will be starting after networking dot service what is the service service type is simple and it will be doing the r clone mount and what r clone mount it will be doing it will be first of all for the mount it will be using the configuration and the configuration is in the root folder config r clone and r clone dot config and what it will be mounting it will be mounting sync bricks which is the google drive and where it will be mounting it will be mounting to mnt slash g drive and what commands it will be using it will be using allow other cache db purge poll interval 10 minutes and then here it is exec stop mount g drive and when it will restart it will restart always and restart seconds it will be restarting after 10 seconds and wanted by default target so we'll be saving this now and after saving we'll be enabling this service now to enable the service we'll do system ctl enable g drive dot service so the service has been enabled if i see this here right now there is nothing in g drive because the service has not yet started so i'll be starting the service here i'll do system ctl and start g drive dot service and if i see system ctl status g drive dot service so it will automatically reconfiguring reconnecting all the times now we'll see this ls cd space slash mnt and cd space g drive ls you can see here that right now the files are already there and even if i exit this now it's fine i can go back here 
cd space slash mnt ls cd space g drive ls now i can create the directory now mkdir and i'll give it a name for example backup and it will now directly create the folder over here so this is how you will be using google drive in your proxmox now how we'll be using this proxmox how it will be appearing here i'll be explaining you that in the next video